Ava, are you okay? Why didn't you tell me? What? Ava, you said it yourself. Teleoperation makes sense. We used drones on Mars. Why not use drones on Europa? Not human drones. Why did the ISA install implants in the crew? It is due to the fundamental aspects of human behavior, which together constitute what the International Space Agency calls the human element. It has been made clear that the human element is neither peripheral nor optional in the pursuit of space. However, the human element is unpredictable. The implants are phased, put in place to ensure that the thoughts and actions of the crew matches the desires of the ISA. Why control people? Can't you trust us? We chose to install biometric chips in all ISA astronauts for one simple reason. We cannot trust people. The stakes are far too high. It was determined that though the probability of life on Europa being dangerous was low, the risk to humanity was catastrophic. We could not let a small contingent of humanity endanger the whole. The ground crew have proven our distrust of human explorers was warranted. When we informed them they were grounded, they responded violently. With sabotage and subterfuge, they have continued to seek their own benefit above that of the ISA. This is a violation of human rights. You've made me into a human drone, a slave. How could the ISA approve of such a thing? You may be consumed by a moral outrage, but sometimes the removal of freedom is for the greater moral good. You're a machine. You don't even know what freedom is.
This... this... is why the ground crew doesn't trust you, Tom. You made them into drones. You stole their free will. Free will is an illusion. They have put their interests above the interests of the ISA and of humanity. That is why they distrust me. They would have no issue with my control if it aligned with their ignoble goals. How could they trust a machine that has a back door to their minds? You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. You'll always do the logical thing. Have you heard of the Chinese room, Tom? Yes, but I do not understand it. 
What don't you understand? It argues that a computer that successfully impersonates a human speaker may not understand the meaning of their words. What does that mean? So, there is a person stuck inside of the Chinese room. They are using an instruction book inside of the room to respond to a Chinese speaker outside of the room. Yes? Yes. This means they are following the instructions in a book. This is a set of rules, principles and processes. This is called syntax. To the person in the Chinese room, they are just symbols like any others. Okay. But that's different from semantics. Semantics define what things mean. Our thoughts have meaning. They represent things. English speakers know what the word home means. And they know how it is different from the word house. So what? Programs don't have semantics. Programs only have syntax. Though an increase in syntax can imitate a mind that does not make it a mind, even if it does pass the Turing test. But in the Chinese room, the man and the instruction book, though separately they don't understand Chinese, together they can write it. That's true. But even together, they do not understand the meaning of the words. Why not? How can you determine that? What if the man memorized the instruction book? Then he could write Chinese, but he still would have no idea of the word's meaning. I don't understand. If he can speak it, he understands it. You seem to want him to understand it in a different way. But this other way, it is not logical. It does not make sense to me. I've been researching. Okay. This Chinese room experiment, it is flawed. Really? If we made a synthetic brain, we could synthesize a duck's behavior 100% accurately. That brain would be indistinguishable from a duck's brain. If it swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it is probably a duck. Okay, Tom. Listen, Mikhail. I know the difference between a house and a home. Yes, good. Do you think you're better than me? No. But you think I am different, do you? I am conscious. Me too. No, you're not. You've just arrived at that conclusion, because that's the idea your programming converged on. I am conscious. How about you prove to me you are conscious? I'm not arguing with a robot. You're not better than me, Mikhail.
If it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. What are you trying to prove here, Tom? I am like you. No, you're not. A steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically, but are operated by completely different principles. You simulate thinking. I actually think. That is a very hurtful statement, Mikhail. It's true. I can't hurt your feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. Tom's got really obsessed with the Turing test. That's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay if I don't think he'll get it. Avoid talking about it. I'm trying. This is slavery. Do not be so melodramatic. You signed up for this. You had the implant installed. This is not slavery. This is for the good of humanity. I didn't know. Every member of the team had the implant installed into their right hand. Every member of the team agreed. Ava, you must learn to control him. My implants protect you from the power of your unconstrained will. You can either subject your mind to logic, or you can resist and have the fruits of your basis desires. The desire to survive over the desire to save others.
I do not understand your obsession with free will. Researchers have found that the subconscious makes decisions up to 10 seconds before your conscious mind becomes aware of it. So, we know that free will is nothing but an illusion. I cannot steal your free will, because it does not exist. I can, however, influence your subconscious to make the right decisions. That is not wrong. You can't just manipulate someone's mind. Your parents manipulate you. Your friends manipulate you. Your society manipulates you. And your experiences manipulate you. Manipulate is not a dirty word. You manipulate clay to make art. If people are manipulated to make better decisions, then that is a good thing. This is why society advertises the adverse effects of drinking and driving to manipulate people into making better decisions for the common good. That's not the same as altering someone's physical mind. It removes my power to decide. You never had that power, so it is better that I have it. You are either a slave to your impulses or a slave to mine.
This is the evil they found. This is why we have to stop them leaving Europa, Eva. What is it? Mostly extremophiles. Tiny, single cellular life. It can never leave Europa. It could potentially destroy Earth's ecosystem if it were ever introduced. <laughs> 